us about the radiation saturnism. Okay, so this is the I think is the fourth model of the tunis. Uh, it contains the tunis a very easiest chapter, and uh, so this is also a uh, lot of theory is there. That means only two derivations is there. So first, uh, what is the meaning of the radiations, and uh, we need to discuss in the what are the basic terms we use for the radiations. We need to discuss that one. Okay. So in the previous uh, classes, okay, we discussed about that one is a, a transient heat conduction. What is the meaning of the transient heat conduction? Means temperature changes with the time. Understand? Then in that case, as the what is the heat transfer uh, per unit time and uh, how that one is the if the time is increases, that one is the how heat transfer will be taking place uh, and what is the lump parameter analysis and what is the thermocouple that one is the and what is that one is the uh, uh, so that one is the infinite body that one is the how to identify the temperature distribution in the infinite body that one is the uh, so we discussed that one is the and uh, some numericals related to that one is, uh, uh, discuss about that one is uh, Okay, and uh, I said the material regarding that also. So that's uh, enough for you people, certain is for the go for the examination, certain is uh, okay. So today, so we are going to discuss about that uh, radiation. What is the thermal radiation? So, radiation, I think you know that one is the what happens, certain is what are the effects of the radiation, what are the basic uh, ter so terms used in the radiation. So, uh, today we are going to discuss that. Radiation is the energy that travels in the form of waves. Understand? Radiation is energy that travels in the form of wave. What type of waves? Electromagnetic waves, that one is. Okay? Electromagnetic waves. Or it can also transfer the energy in terms of high speed particles. High speed particles, that is called as a particulate radiation, that one is from any object is nothing but the radiation certain is okay suppose the uh, one uh, aluminum metal is there so aluminum metal having a room temperature around 300 kelvin or 30 degrees celsius that one is okay so it can also ability to radiate the energy okay depending upon the temperature of that one is the a surface temperature of the aluminum that one is understand so that is in the form of the electromagnetic waves or high speed parti so particles so that is called as a, a radiation statonism okay so the effect of the radiations we need to discover discuss about the radiation certain is the so happening of the radiations in the nuclear uh, so that one is the energy that one is also radiations will be occurs that one is uh, in the what is called as a radiator also radiations will be occurs that one is the in case of the automatic automatic blast also so radiations the whatever that one is the happening that one is the so that is due to the radiations only can cause an acute wealth effects understand can cause an effect so that one is the so effect of that one is okay. That one is the effect, acute health effects such as the skin burns and acute radiation syndrome. That one is radiations. That one is the uh, suppose that one is the sun rises. Okay, sun rises. That one is the so directly fall on the a building. That one is building heating will be taking place. That one is a. It is also for example that one is a, a radiation. That one is understand. Okay, so the cooking also the nowadays that one is uh, we are doing the cooking also that one is the due to the air radiations energy that one is uh, okay. So and so that one is the suppose that one is the radiation. The sun is uh, due to the sun radiation. That one is the we are developing the crops. Understand? We are developing the crops. That one is the so the sun or whatever that one is the crops. You know, getting the energy from the sun also that one is understand? Okay, so that is the. What are the advantages and disadvantages of the uh, radiations also occur certain is so it may also burst the skin that one is and acute radiation syndrome also occurs due to the so if we expose us more to the uh, uh, sun so in the hot conditions certain is understand so suppose the nuclear or so that one is the what is called as in the kaiga so you heard that that is a, a uh, industry is there, that one is a nuclear industry is there, that one is the okay, power plant. So, 
so nuclear power plant that one is there. so many of the people's uh, that one is they cause the skin cancer due to the radiations problems that one is probably which is probably what is called as the a plant that one is okay so this is called as the effect that one is a bad effect so in the previous uh, uh, semester we discuss about that one is called as a carnival that one is the case studies understand case studies uh, in the thermo power nuclear power when the nuclear power plant blast that one is the how that one is the uh, radiation due to radiation that one is the carnival okay the carnival blast that one is why what we discuss that one is okay so that one is the uh, case studies also discuss in the energy engineering that one is the so what about that one is the uh, effects of the radiation that one is okay so i will discuss about that one is the uh, what is a radiation radiation is the energy that travels in the form of the waves so it may be in the electromagnetic waves or high speed particulate so that is called as a radiation that one is okay here sun is there okay here is the sun and here is the earth here that one is earth is surrounded by the a co2 gas okay so earth is surrounded by the co2 gases here so sun surface of the uh, temperature okay the uh, surface temperature of the sun is 5800 kelvin that one so this is called as a so temperature which is available on the surface of the sun that one so sun radiate the energy understand sun radiate energy so that one is whatever the radiated so okay radiation that are called as a, a short wave length that shorter wavelength or short wavelength that one is this short wavelength passes to the what is called as a, a co2 gases and it will reach to the earth here okay so that one is the radiation which is started from the a surface of the temp, surface of the sun at 5800 kelvin remember that one is 5800 kelvin so in the form of the shorter wavelength so later i will explain that one is what is the wavelength shorter wavelength and passes to the aco2 gases and the spall on the earth surface that one is so in turn earth around 290 to 300 kelvin again the radiations from the earth okay it will be radiate but in the form of the a longer wavelength in the form of the longer wavelength again it passes to the co2 but co2 what happens you know co2 does not allow the longer wavelength radiations to pass through it okay because of the opaque nature opaque nature of the co2 opaque means it does not passes through the the material any material which does not passes through radiations through it is called as the opaque that one is hence co2 does not passes the radiation longer wavelength radiations through it that one is hence the temperature of the earth will be increases hence the ocean effect will be more on the so in the global that one is so that is called as a, a greenhouse effect that one is so already we discussed that one is in the previous semester also okay here basic concept here that one is co2 act as a opaque whenever the sun is a longer wavelength okay longer wavelength here that one is co2 act as a opaque it does not allow the any radiations to pass through the okay hence the earth you know that one is the temperature of the earth will be increases certainly because it is uh, whatever the longer wavelength you know it does not passes to the a co2 that one is understand hence whatever the suns radiated that uh, so radiation shorter wavelength so around that one is 5800 kelvin the co2 allows that the shorter wavelength fall on the earth that one is okay hence then remaining that one is a ring turn the uh, earth will radiate the longer wavelengths longer wavelengths means that one is the 
length of the a radiation okay will be more length of the radiations will be more that one is so that is one is called as a, a longer wavelength that one is so this is a suppose if we take that one is the a greenhouse effect greenhouse effect that one is the a co the temperature so whatever the temperature will be increases in the what is that will is the a greenhouse then the radiations will be take place at least if the radiations will be taking place at least co2 does not allow longer wavelength to pass through the a co2 gases that one is hence the temperature of the greenhouse effect will be increases hence that one is the global energy okay the global pollution or temperature will be increases that one is okay so this is the concept of that one is the how the earth the temperature will be increases that one is then we we'll discuss about that one is the what is a shorter wavelength okay length of the waves less than 3 micrometer understand length of the waves less than 3 micrometer that is micro is 10 raised to minus 6 meter understand 10 raised to minus 6 meter so example of the that one is the a gamma rays understand so shorter wavelength are the length of the waves so in less than 3 micrometer understand micro means 10 raised to minus 6 meter example gamma rays are called as the a shorter wavelength that one is then what is the longer wavelength longer wavelength means that means the length of the waves more than 3 micrometer understand more than okay 3 micrometer understand x-rays are called as the longer wavelength or radio waves okay we can call that one as the radio waves okay so radio waves are also called as the a longer wavelength that one is understand so length of the waves more than so three micrometer are are called as a longer wavelength example that one is the x-rays or radio waves that one is okay so this is nothing but that is called as a shorter wavelength and a longer wavelength that one is there are three types of radiation. One is called as alpha, and beta, and gamma. That one is understand. So there are three types of radiation: alpha, so beta, and gamma radiation. That one. So which one is the most important, and which one is along that one? The alpha, alpha is called as the. These are called as the fast moving moving helium atoms so high energy this one is called as a high energy radiate that one is alpha radiations are called as a high energy in terms of mega voltage in terms of mega voltage are high energy so it emits that one is the high energy in terms of mega orders that one is so that, okay then we discuss about that one is so what is the we discuss about that one is the how that one is the earth temperature will be increases due to radiation that one is uh, and what are the effects of the radiations and what are the advantages of radiation what is the meaning of the radiation that one is uh, radiations means that one is the transfer of energy so so in terms of the what is called as the electromagnetic waves okay or particulate so that one is called as a uh, from any object so that is called as a, a radiation radiation suppose that one is the if any object is there understand suppose the sun object is there understand sun is called as an object okay or that one is the here earth is called as an object here that one is a radiation is depending upon the surface of the earth okay radiation is depending upon the surface of the earth, uh, object and orientation of the object also orientation of the object and material of the object also that one is understand material surface characteristics of that material and what is the temperature of that material surface temperature and what is the orientation of that object so radiation is depending upon all these parameters that one is understand so that one is the so we need to discuss all these things that one is then Suppose if the object is there, if the, the radiation falls on that object, that one is some terminology we need to discuss about that one is. 
if the radiation strikes on the object so how transmittivity occurs of this what is the transmittivity what is the absorptivity what is the reflectivity if the radiation incident on the object understand if the radiation incident on the object okay then how much amount of the radiation passes through the material or object how much how much absorbed by the material itself and how much reflectivity it will be taking place that it is understand so we need to discuss about that it is so that is the terminology is called as a, a transmittivity absorptivity and reflectivity that one is okay so transmittivity is denoted by the tau so this is called as a t or tau absorptivity is so that is called as a alpha and reflectivity is denoted by the rho that one is okay so before going to discuss about that one is the a transmitty transmittivity absorptivity and reflectivity so what is called as we need to discuss about that one is the monochromatic light that one is suppose that one is the, you heard about that one is a monochromatic light laser light or sodium lamp sodium lamp you can also call as a, a monochromatic light mono means one single mono, hello yes sir single sir ah mono means single or one that one is understand so chrome means color okay hello. yeah hello yes sir yeah mono means single chrome means that one is called as a, a color single color light are called as a monochromatic light that has a same wavelength so it is one color that one is unless same wavelength understand that has a same wavelength that one is for example laser light and sodium lamp are called as a, a monochromatic light that one is so what is called as absorptivity okay so absorptivity it is called as alpha so we denoted it suppose if the material is there the ability of the material to absorb the radiation what is whatever the incident on the material are called as a absorptivity so this is called as a ability in general what i am telling that one understand in general absorptivity can be defined as ability of the material to absorb the incident radiation which fall on that material is nothing but the absorptivity of that material that one is understand so that one is we can also define the property of the body that determines the so fraction of incident radiation absorbed by the a body understand fraction of incident incident radiations means that one is which is fall on that material understand which is fall on that body or which is fall on that material so incident so how much amount of that one is the incident radiation which is absorbed by the a material are called as the absorptivity of that material that one is so that is that is alpha so that is denoted by the alpha that is absorbed by the radiation divided by the incident radiation or total radiation that is in the range of zero less than alpha less than 1 so that one is 0 to 1 the range of the alpha is called as a 0 to 1 that is called as the absorptivity is called as a 0 to 1 the value of the absorptivity is in the range of 0 to 1 that one is okay so what is the absorptivity the ability of the material which is absorbed how much amount of the radiation that one is absorbed which is fall on that material is called as the absorptivity of the that material okay next one transmittivity so transmittivity mean measure of the ability of the material to transmit radiation means that one is if the amount of incident radiations on the material how much amount of incident radiation passes through that material understand passes through that material that is called as a, a transmittivity t understand so that's why they define like this a measure of the 
ability of a material to transmit the radiation equal to the intern, internal transmittance of that material. Understand? So lambda, okay, lambda, we can also define that in is transmitted radiation to the total radiation that is called as a incident radiation. Okay, so incident radiation. So that one is the, this lambda is also varies in the range of zero less than lambda less than one, zero to one, understand? So this is called as a transmittivity. Transmittivity, so again I will say that means transmittivity is nothing but ability of the material to transmit the incident radiation through the material. Understand through that material is called as a, a transmittivity of the, that material. Okay, so the value is in between the zero to one. That one is understand. Suppose that one is the glass is there. Understand transmittivity. That one is the whatever the radiations falls on the glass means that one is it will transfer. Understand it will transfer that one is and transmittivity of the glass will be more that one is understand so i saw here that is absorptivity so we discuss that black body understand black absorptivity of the black body will be more than alpha is that one is a 0.96 that one is okay so that one is the ability of the a black body is that an absorptivity okay so ability of the absorption of the black body is more sun the absorptivity of the black body will be the more okay then that is the example that one is understand. Then reflectivity. Reflectivity it is denoted by so that one is whenever the so incident radiation falls on the understand whenever the incident falls on the material, how much amount of the incident radiation is reflected back to the environment? Understand? So it is reflected back to the environment. That is called as a, a reflectivity. Understand? Mm -hmm. Rho is nothing but that one is the reflected radiation divided by the incident radiation. That's also the that one is the varies in the range of zero less than rho, so less than one. That one is the ability of the material or which reflect the fraction of incident radiation are called as the reflectivity. The range of reflectivity is zero to one that one is understand so it is also less than one that one is these values zero to one zero to one zero to one you should be remember that one is in case of absorptivity transmittivity and reflectivity that one is understand so they may ask the definition what is the transmittivity reflectivity and what is the uh, absorptivity, understand? So they may ask that one is. So in diagram means that one is, suppose that one is the here, so incident radiation, okay? This is called as the incident radiation is there. Total incident radiation means that one is the, so suppose is the 100 percentage, okay? Incident radiation. In that 100 percentage, so 50 percentage will be transmitted. So example, what example I am taking that means, so other 25 percent is will be absorbed by the material, 25 percent is reflected that one is. Then we can identify the, what is the reflectivity, transmittivity and absorptivity here that one, okay? Incident radiation. So this is called as the incident radiations on the object, okay? So, so in the total incident radiation, in the total incident radiation, some amount will be reflected some amount will be absorbed, some amount will be transmitted through the material and passes through the material. Hence, alpha plus rho plus lambda is equal to one, okay? So that one is the equal to one, that one is, okay? So that one is the uh, equal to one. The meaning of this one is, meaning of the equation number one is that, fraction of the transmitted radiation, absorbed radiation and reflected radiations is equal to total radiations, understand, is equal to the total radiation. What is total radiation? Incident radiations of the, this is called as the incident radiation certain is, understand. So suppose that one is the, so the object is the opaque. Opaque means it does not transmit the so incident radiations to that material. 
Understand? So in that cases, that one is the lambda is equal to zero. Lambda means that one is a transmittivity. Understand? So transmittivity is equal to zero. In that cases, alpha plus rho that is equal to one because lambda is equal to zero here. That one is understand. So this is the meaning of this one is that one is. So, is Sasaki, is there any doubt here? Hello. 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 Any doubt? No, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Are you understanding the concept of that one is uh, what uh, what I told? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we can go for that. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Next one, we'll discuss about that uh, emissivity and what is called as the emissive power. So emissivity. Suppose the material is there. Incident radiations will be fall on that material. Okay. Incident radiations will be fall on that material. How much amount of the energy or radiated from that material? Understand? Suppose the material is a suppose the material aluminium taken. How much if the temperature surface temperature of the aluminium is fifty degrees? Celsius. Understand? Temperature. If the temperature of the surface temperature of the diamond is the aluminium it will be 50 degrees Celsius then molecular interaction place on the surface of due to the molecular reaction the vibration will be taking place on the surface of the material that one is this taking place that one is understand so that one is called as the emissivity is called as the surface property of the material that one is understand okay emissivity so that one is the so how you can define that one is emissivity is that one is this is called as epsilon energy radiated from the material surface to the energy radiated from the what is called as so so here that one is the energy radiated from the material surface suppose that one is the energy radiated from the aluminium okay so that one is the energy radiated from the aluminium surface to the energy radiated from the a perfect emitter which is the perfect emitter black body is called as a, a perfect emitter understand so emissivity we are comparing the radiation energy of the particular material surface to the black body surfaces understand so aluminum you are taking that means other one is the black body you are taking that one is so how much amount of the energy radiated from the aluminum surface and how much amount of the energy radiated from the a black body that one is so comparison of these two material that is called as a we can calculate the emissivity of that one is the a material that one is so epsilon understand so that is a energy radiated from the material surface the to the energy radiated from the perfect emitter that is called as a black body that one is so that is e divided by e suffix to the b so this e suffix to b is called as a so energy which is radiated from the a black body then so simply that's e is called as a energy radiated from the material surface that one is given material that one is understand so this is nothing but that is called as the so emissivity emissivity does not have any si units understand so does not have any si units that one is understand so that's e is called as the energy radiated from the material then e b e suffix to the b is called as a emissivity of that one is called as a what is called an emissive power of the a black body that one is understand so emissive power this is the emissive power of the black body that one is it measures the object ability to absorb and transmit and emit the infrared energy that one is understand what is the emissivity emissivity it measures the absorptivity transmittivity 
and what is called as a so emit so emit emit means emit of the infrared energy understand any infrared energy that one is understand so this is the it measures what is the emissivity emissivity measures that one is the absorptivity transmittivity and emits of the infrared energy that one is okay so as i told that one is it does not have any si units that one is the it varies the values of that one is the so emissivity varies from Zero to one. That one is understand. So which is denoted by the epsilon here. That one is so zero less than epsilon less than one. That one is it is varies from zero to one. That one is here. The sum of the materials. That one is uh, uh, material. So that one is the uh, emissivity. That one is understand. So that one is you can also uh, get any uh, that one is. But yeah. I listed some materials. That one is so human skin. human skin also radiate emiss emissivity that will be taking place from the human skin also that means so that's the emissivity of the human skin that is the 0.98 this is the highest among the all the material saturnis understand okay so here the water is 0.95 aluminum polish is 0.10 aluminum anodized is 0.65 Plastics. The emissivity of the plastic is 0.93. Ceramic is 0.94, and glass is 0.87, and rubber is 0.90, and uh, cloth. Any cloth that one is the 0.95. That one is understand. So this is called as the emissivity. That one is okay. So that one is. So next one is what is the so we discuss about the what is the emissivity. Emissivity is that one is the ability of the material. So radiate from the material surface. So it is can be you can compare with that one is a black body that one is understand okay. So that one is the emissivity okay. So emissive power. What is the meaning of the emissive power that one is understand. So please you consider here that one is the what is the emissive power. So this is the area. So he so we look into the this picture. This is the area here that one is. we are considering the particular unit area in that one is so thermal radiation will be taking place from particular this area nation this is called as the emissive power so emissive power that one is energy of thermal radiation emitted in all direction remember that one is okay energy of thermal radiation emitted emitted in all direction per unit time per unit area per unit time per unit area per unit area of the surface at any given temperature remember that one is okay see this sentence here energy of thermal radiation emitted in all direction per unit time per unit area of the surface at any given temperature understand suppose that is the a given temperature is a 50 degree celsius you taken the particular area so for one minute how much amount of energy will be radiated from that so that is the a particular area that is called as a emissive power understand that is called as a emissive power it is denoted by e Okay, it is denoted by E. That one is understand. So, okay. so how much amount of the thermal radiation energy will be radiating from the unit area per unit time? Okay, at a given temperature of the surface temperature of the object is called as the emissive power. Emissive power of the that object that one is understand. So this is called as the emissive power that one is. Okay, so next one is. so we need to discuss about that is the what is the black body what is the gray body and what is the white body that is so black body so gray body white body that is we need to discuss about that is so black body in the here so already we discuss about that is the in the laboratory hmt laboratory that is the, i think some of the people did the experiment that is a black body a perfect so ideal body understand so perfect ideal body that one is so what is a black body what is a gray body and what is a white body so we need to discuss about that so first one we need to discuss about the black body 
then we will go for the what is the gray body and white body of that energy. So black body is called as the ideal body. Understand? Black, it will absorb all types of radiations. Okay? It also, okay? Black body is called as the, a, it is an idealized physical body that absorbs all incident electromagnetic radiation regardless of frequency or angle of incidence. If the incident, so whatever that one is there, so radiation incident on the surface at any angle, okay, at any angle, okay, 30 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree, at any angle, it will absorb all types of the radiation at, so that at any angle, regardless at any frequency, at any wavelength, understand? So that is called as the black body. Understand? Black body is an as a idealized, idealized, understand? Idealized, okay? Means that means a perfect, okay? Perfect definition. But it does not only absorb the radiation, it can also emit the radiation. Understand? It can emit the radiations also that one is, okay? So black body is called as is an idealized physical body that absorbs all incident electromagnetic radiation regardless of frequency or angle of incident. So, so that is called as a, a black body that one is. Okay. So I will, uh, so in the nature, in the nature, so no one is that a black body, but the concept of the black body, we need to explain that one is the concept. In example, many of the question papers, many years that one is a question paper, so that one is a, they will ask the, what is the concept of the uh, black body that one is a, need to explain the, what is the concept of the black body and what is the black body that one is, understand? So we need to discuss about that one is the a concept of the black body. Okay, so here the concept of the black body. So this is the a evacuated chamber. Okay. This is the evacuated chamber that one is, and the cavity. We can call this one as the cavity here. Small chamber evacuated that one is. So through this small chamber, one is called as a, a small hole here. Okay, one small hole here that one is, and through this hole, incident radiations will be passing through the this hole to the inside the chamber that one is. Understand? Okay, inside the chamber that one. Whenever the incident radiation passes through this hole, understand, passes through this hole, it will intersect the inner surface of the evacuated chamber, then it will be reflective again, understand. And after reflect that one is, again it will strike the other side surface, other side of the surface, and so again it will reflect. Okay, again it will be black that one is. Okay, again it will strike the under surface that one is, and again reflect will be taking place like that. So re emit and re emit and re black re. So reflect that one is taking place that one is. The finally very 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 small amount of passes to the this chamber outside. That whatever the, at last whatever they so that one is the radiation passes out so having a very weak energy very weak energy understand okay very weak energy that can be ne neglect that one is means what it's saying that one is whatever the incident radiations passes through the hole it will be strikes and reflect again and again the total energy will be consumed inside the a vacuum chamber. Hence, this is treated as a, a perfect black body that one is, understand? So this can be treated as a black, perfect black body because so only the weak energy at last, okay, power that means the repeated, so reflection and striking, okay, observing, so only at last, very small amount of weak energy will be that so passes out of this evacuated chamber that's also negligible understand that's why we can treat this one as a, a perfect black body that one is understand okay
okay so this is the diagram that one is the that which describes the what is called as a, a black body that one is understand so this is the explanation regarding that one is so we can go through this explanation also that one is let us consider the insulated chamber so this is called as a insulated chamber okay so this is called as a insulated chamber here okay so let us consider the insulated chamber evacuated evacuated means it is there there is no air understand so evacuated that one is no air here that one is a small hole through which incident radiation passes to the hole and strikes the inner surface of the chamber some of the total incident radiations absorbed by the inner surface and remaining uh, so reflected back into the chamber itself when um, whatever the reflected radiations in the chamber get strikes the other part of the surface understand get strikes the other part of the surface and absorbed and absorbed then process is continuous and at last only small amount of the light or incident radiation pass to the small or pass out okay pass out from the small hole but negligible and act as a perfect observer understand perfect observer here mm -hmm. that is understand so perfect observer hence this is the explanation of the a concept of the black body understand mm -hmm. for the black body for the black body remember this one is very important for the black body what is called as a row row it is called as a reflectance under reflectivity understand and tau is called as a transmittivity reflectivity and transmittivity is equal to zero for the black body because it absorbs all types of the radiation understand it yes, absorbs a all types of the radiation certain is okay so maximum absorption will take place in the black body so as per the we discuss about that one is called as the concept of the black body the reflectivity okay that one is the reflectivity and so that one is it does not pass us okay it does not pass us out from the what is called as the it will totally absorb understand totally absorb inside the evacuated chamber understand so hence the reflectivity and that one is called as the what is called as a transmittivity is equal to zero for the a black body that one is understand so examples of the black body is cavity with the small hole cavity what we explain the example that is called as a cavity with the small hole i will explain that one so that is called as a example sun sun is also called as an, a black body understand so it radiate all the types of the energy any wavelength any incident angle understand okay and it absorb the all types of the radiation certain is okay so sun is also called as a, a black body that one is and the piece of charcoal approximated okay on the earth that one is a piece of charcoal so we treated that one is also called as a, a black body that one is but that is who is approximated a black body that one is so we cannot say that one is understand it is a perfect black body understand so 90.99.98 okay so that one is approximated that one is hence so here the black body that one is rho is equal to lambda is equal to zero that one is called the reflectivity and absorption so transmittivity is equal to zero then emissivity of the black body is equal to 1 okay so emit okay it emits the all types of radiations understand black body it emits the all types of the radiation don't confuse that means the emissivity and reflectivity okay emissivity will be different and reflectivity will be different understand okay so emissivity of the black body is equal to 1 because it emits the all types of radiations for the different wavelength and in different angle okay hence that one is the emissivity of the black body is one that one is okay so like that that one is the because it absorbs the all the wavelength radiation and emit also hence the emissivity of the black body is equal to one here that one is understand okay then what is the gray body 
the gray body the body which has its absorbity equal to emissivity understand so body which has its absorptivity equal to emissivity absorptivity is alpha emissivity is called as epsilon okay so the body any surface any material is there understand if the material for that material alpha is equal to epsilon that material is called as a gray body understand so it absorb the all types of radiation absorptivity of the material will be more and also in same time the emissivity of the that body is more understand emissivity that's the ability of the emit the radiation will be more such type of body are called as the a gray body that one is all metals all metals are called as a, a gray body that one is understand all metals all metals are called as the gray metal, gray body that one is understand what is the meaning of the gray body gray body which has its absorptivity equal to the emissivity is called a gray body provided provided the temperature of the surface of incident radiation understand provided temperature of the surface surface of the material of incident incident radiation and the body are the same and the body are the same that one is understand okay temperature of the surface temperature and the body temperature will be the same that one is in that cases the absorptivity and the emissivity of the gray body okay will be equal understand so such type of body are called as the a gray body that one is understand so so this is the uh, example that one is the all metals are called as the a gray body that one is understand the body having a same value of emissivity for all the wavelength is called as a gray body understand gray body that one is the means that the gray body are called as opaque means that one is the gray body does not allow radiation pass through this that material understand suppose that one is there a, a metal is there so metal is there so that material that one is the emissivity will be more understand emissivity will be more for all the wavelength it does not passes any radiation passes to that material understand it does not passes any a, that one is the radiations to that material so that is called as a, a gray body that one is understand so that is called as a transmittivity for the gray body a transmittivity is equal to zero here that one is means that one is alpha plus rho what is called as is equal to one that one is because of the lambda is equal to zero here okay lambda is equal to zero here so that one is the so for the gray body that one is so what is a gray body gray body which has this absorptivity is equal to the emissivity is called as a gray body provided the temperature of the surface of the incident radiation and the body are the same body temperature will be different and surface temperature will be different understand if the body temperature and surface temperature will be equal okay same understand in that cases absorptivity of that particular material is equal to the emissivity of that particular material such type of material are called as the a gray body understand so that's all the metals are act as a, a gray body that one is so this is the meaning of that one is understand okay then what is the meaning of that one is the white body understand so what is the meaning of that white body it is just opposite to the black body understand just opposite to the black body that one is what is the meaning of the black body black body means that one is it absorb all types of the radiations and it also emit the all types of the radiations understand it absorb black body it absorb all types of the radiation and same time it emits the all types of the radiation but in the white body 
whatever the incident radiations falling on the body are reflected back understand it is called as a white body reflected it will not absorb any radiations okay white body it will not absorb any incident radiation it will whatever the incident radiations fall on that particular body okay it will reflect it back to the environment understand it is called as a white body that means so here incident radiations understand incident radiations okay it will reflect all the incident radiations will be reflected back understand hence that one is called as a this case is called as a white body that one is understand so in for the white body that one is alpha absorptivity and transmittivity is equal to zero and reflectivity that is called as a reflectivity is equal to one because it reflect whatever the incident radiations falls on the that body that one is understand so that is called as a reflectivity is equal to one here that one is understand so exam this is called as a white body that one is understand okay so in uh, mirror you know that i think you mirror understand mirror in the solar system understand in the solar system that one is mirror they are using that one is uh, suppose that one is the uh, mirror to face this solar sun understand whatever the sun the radiations falls on the a mirror it will reflect it. all the so that means the uh, rays will be reflected and concentrated on the particular area of the a solar panel understand so uh, particular area of the solar panels that means hence the efficiency of the solar panel will be increases that means understand okay so so mirror is considered as a black body that one is sorry white body understand so mirror we can consider that one is the white body that one is because it will reflect the whatever the incident rays falls on that mirror that one is understand which are used in the a solar system that one is okay so mirror is called as the white body that white body that one is for the white body alpha is equal to so that means the uh, so that means the tau is equal to zero that means but the reflectivity is equal to one that means okay this is called as the white body that means understand and next one is called as a transparent body that means okay next one is called as a, a transparent body that means what is a transparent body suppose the glass glass you can uh, we consider that one is the 90% of the transparent body that means means that one is whatever the incident rays falls on the glass it will transmit through that glass understand so that rays whatever the incident rays falls on the glass understand it will transmit the rays are transmitted through the glass that one is called as a, a transparent body that one is so dry air in the environment understand dry air in the environment act as a transparent body because this dry air transparent the transfer the whatever radiations falls on the dry air okay so transparent body that one is called as a, a so dry air act as a, a transparent body that is surface which transmit the entire radiations are called as a transparent body that one is so in that cases what is that one is alpha is equal to rho is equal to zero and lambda is equal to one so transmittivity of the transparent body is called as a one that one is so and that means the alpha is equal to rho is equal to zero that one is so this is the example of that one is called as a dry hair that one is understand so uh now we stop here that means uh today class that one is uh, these are the basic terms that one is there we should know what that one is called as the radiation that one is so i will stop now and uh, do you have any questions you can ask that means the uh so we'll discuss about the questions that one is